Hi, I'm Scott Engel. I am the king. I am fantasy for the Fantasy Sports Network here with New York Mets outfielder Kirk Neuenheis today on Ask the King. Uh, Kirk, you play in more than one fantasy league. How are you doing so far? Not bad. I had a rough, rough week in uh, one of my leagues. Tom Brady uh, didn't do too hot, but uh, in the other league we eked one out thanks to uh, late Keenan Allen drop, or uh, so I heard. But yeah, we won. Eked that one out. So one one. So uh, what kind of questions you got for this week? Um, well, I like what I saw from Darren Sproles. Um, wondering if uh, that's going to be a, a good role for him in, in Philly right there. What do you think the rest of the season? Is it a PPR or non-PPR? It's half PPR. Half point per reception. I think he's going to be very busy in that offense. Half point PPR, not as valuable as a PPR, obviously. But uh, I think the Eagles... A very powerful offense, going to get the ball in his hands a lot. Uh, I think, you know, good flex player really depends on the matchup from week to week and how he's doing. Uh, it all depends on who your other choices are. Who, who else do you have at running back? Well, we got Doug Martin and Adrian Peterson. So, and Pierre Thomas also. Well, you got Pierre Thomas. It sounds like you know what you're doing in a half point PPR. I, I prefer Thomas a lot over Sproles. Uh, you know, did you go into the draft thinking that, you know, I wanted to target guys like Sproles and Thomas, knowing like it's a half-point PPR? A little bit, yeah. I think that Sproles fell to us pretty late, and we, uh, you know, we liked him in uh, that Philly offense. We wanted a piece of that offense. So, uh, you know, we picked him up pretty late, but I think it was a good value pick. Is there anything else on your mind as you head into week two? Uh, Doug Martin. What's going on with him? Is he okay? Well, as we film this right now with Doug Martin, uh, you know, we actually don't know uh, but, but fully, but what I heard this morning, I spoke to somebody in Tampa Bay. They say it's a minor injury, uh, so he's going to be okay. Looks like you should be good to go with him, but how worried are you about him after, uh, you know, nine carries for nine yards in the opener? Oh, well, I knew I had a tough matchup with the uh, Panthers there, so, you know, going to give it a few more weeks. We'll see. You know, he, I got him in both my leagues, so. See. So you play fantasy football. When people play in National League only fantasy baseball, they add you sometimes. They pick they pick you up. Uh, you know, you being a fantasy player yourself, how do you react when somebody says, "Hey, Kirk, I have you on my fantasy baseball team"? Oh, it's pretty cool. I, I think it's uh, I think it's great. You know, sometimes I hear it in the outfield. You know, if I'm playing, um, you know, hey, pick it up. I got you on my fantasy team. I was, it's kind of funny. I laugh, um, you know, because I'm watching football, thinking the same thing. So, now you're a Denver Broncos fan. Do you ever draft with your heart? No, never. Can't. Um, but yeah, definitely Denver Broncos fan through and through. But I love those guys. But you know, they're so good now. They get they get picked real high. So um, you know, Peyton Peyton's obviously after the year he had last year, get he got picked real high. Didn't fall to me um, in the second round. He was already picked. So. Um, you know, and the other guys, you know, I love the other guys too, but there's so many, so many weapons in that offense that, you know, like Julius Thomas had three touchdowns, but, you know, nobody else scores uh, fantasy points that week. So it's a great week for the Broncos, but not great if you're uh, Demarius Thomas on it. Last one for you. What do you think of Monty Ball and Emmanuel Sanders watching the Broncos as much as you do? I love Monty Ball. I knew uh, right when he got drafted, I thought uh, that was a great pickup for him. I thought that was... Um, being a Broncos fan, I, you know, I loved it. Me and uh, our bullpen catcher, Racanello, uh, both big Broncos fans. He's, he's such a great goal line back that um, you know, I think it's a perfect fit for that Denver offense. Kirk, thanks a lot. All right, you got it.